the previous fire department built in the early 80s, uh, you know, served the community well at that point. But as the fire department grew um, and the trucks got larger and more equipment got bigger, uh, they ran out of space and they had to use multiple locations in the community to uh, house um, some of their equipment and it just wasn't efficient use um, for them. The, the building itself was starting to show a lot of a lot of wear. There's concrete breaking up and it was never, today's trucks are, put it this way, they're, they've grown all the time. They're way bigger than they were if you look at the, the old La France that's inside there. It, everything was crammed. There was no room for any organization. We outgrew it, I guess, is the simplest way to put it, and outgrew it and outlived it. We knew we couldn't do it alone. Uh, we didn't have deep enough pockets, and we didn't really want to do um, a bond referendum to go ahead and raise the funds that way. So how could we make this happen without further burdening um, our taxpayers? So um, some of my friends that were on the committee were quite familiar with USDA, um, and I've been somewhat familiar with them, and said, hey, you know what, they might have a program um, rural community, this would be a really good fit for them. And uh, we were able to put the financing package together with the right partners at the low interest rates. We took advantage of locking in low interest rates with USDA, with uh, First Savings Bank, um, and we were able to make it happen um, and be able to pay for that. It's uh, about three times the size of our old facility, maybe a little over three times actually. Uh, we can actually house every piece of equipment we got in one place here now. We can finally maintain it. We don't have stuff sitting in the city street shop. We don't have stuff sitting in the county shop. Everything is up to date to, you know, our, our systems for refilling water on trucks to the ventilation systems in there, the meeting room, the office, the tech side of it. I mean, we can get on uh, online and download training videos and there's a lot, we just have access to a, a lot of things we never had before. Seeing the magnitude from the outside, it looks big, but when you get in, you just don't really appreciate the space, how it's designed, how functional it is. Um, especially, most of them have been to both facilities numerous times because the fire department hosts events at their other facility. So to come here and see this and see the thought that went into this design, um, I think they were pretty proud. We have 30 guys on the department right now. Picked up six great new guys that have gotten their firefighter one and two certifications here in the last year. And I really think the hype of this new building was part of recruiting them. The only way that things like this happen, whether it be a fire station or other community improvements, is when we work together and you build partnerships and bridges in the community to get behind a project. And that's what rural development's supposed to do is help rural communities like us be able to have facilities like this to meet our needs. We might be separate entities, but we're one community. And when one community comes together, good things happen. And we have a Flandreau Fire Station that exemplifies that.